so we will try to solve uh, problem number one the sheet is already sent to you in that sheet you are having 12 problems and uh, in that 12 problems this is the first problem this is uh, the simplest problem i guess in that particular sheet so let us start uh, solving this particular figure uh, so once you see these uh, three diagrams so you have to understand uh, what are these three views okay so if something is there uh, under a particular figure so then you have to understand that so one is front view and another one is top view okay since we are following the first angle projection okay so always the one which is above so is nothing but the front view and uh, the one which is below is the top view and the one which is at the left side should be the right side view okay so in a particular isometric view whatever we are able to see from the right side that will be placed on the left side of the front view so uh, after seeing these three figures so you have to understand what are these three figures so one is front view this is the front view and this is the top view and this is the right side view so how i am able to tell that so because it is there on the left side of the front view so whatever the thing that i will be able to see from the right it will be there on the left side so once again i am again and again i am repeating this uh, don't mind uh, don't mind okay so now we will try to solve this particular problem so first what i have done here is i have drawn uh, a reference line so you also have to do uh, you have to draw a reference line like this so after that what i am trying to do here is uh, i am trying to mark some particular point so from where i want to start the figure so this is the point from where i want to start the figure okay after that so from where you have to start actually so either you have to take front view you have to take top view or you have to take side view so you can take any one but uh, um, i personally recommend that uh, you start with the top view okay so in the top view so what are the two dimensions that you will be able to see is you will be able to see the length and you will be able to see the breadth so the length is uh, 50 mm and the breadth is 35 mm okay so and uh, generally for top view so there won't be any vertical lines so if you have clearly understood uh, the first part of the fourth unit so for any top view so if the top view is uh, uh, say pentagon shape or uh, uh, circle okay when the surface is parallel to hp i am talking about uh, a particular plane position or a solid position uh, okay we are not worried about the solids now uh, if you take a uh, plane okay so if the plane position is parallel to horizontal plane okay so then uh, if i enclose uh, if it is not uh, a square or a rectangle and if i enclose uh, say suppose a pentagon or uh, a hexagon so into a rectangular box okay so what happens is that particular rectangular box does not have any any vertical lines okay so all the lines will be horizontal lines okay so uh, one uh, two more conditions what we learned uh, from the first part of the fourth unit is the vertical lines so in orthographic view will remain vertical in the isometric view also okay so that is the first condition the vertical lines in isometric views okay so vertical lines are nothing but uh, the lines which are related to height okay so those vertical lines will remain vertical so even in the isometric view and uh, the horizontal lines so which are there okay those horizontal lines will be inclined at an angle of 30 degrees so in the isometric view okay so that's uh, the condition the, those are the two conditions that we followed uh, for drawing the isometric views of planes as well as the isometric views of the solids okay so now i am going to start with the top view that means so this particular uh, box what we are seeing here 50 by 35 doesn't have any vertical lines uh, although this lines uh, what you are seeing here so you may think that uh, these are vertical if you don't if you have not understood the topic okay but in general for a top view so because the surface is parallel to the horizontal plane there won't be any vertical lines all lines are horizontal since all lines are horizontal here what i have to do here is so i have to draw at an angle of 30 degrees to the left and 30 degrees to the right okay so uh, i have two dimensions here one is 50 mm and another one is 35 mm okay so which dimension shall i take uh, to the left and which dimension shall i take to the right so how i am going to decide that so i am going to decide that based on the side view okay which side view i have i have here i have here uh, my right side view, okay so right side view uh, how i am able to tell that is because it is there on the left side of the front view okay um, 
this should be seen from the right side okay that means the 35 mm should be left to the this particular portion and uh, this particular portion and the 50 mm should be there on the this particular portion where i will be drawing the arrowhead so this arrowhead represents that my front view should be from this particular end so i am going to start with the top view here with a dimension of 50 by 35 uh, the length is 50 mm and uh, the breadth is 35 mm so in the top view you already know that uh, the two dimensions that you are able to see in the top view is length and breadth the two dimensions that you are able to see in the front view is length and height the two dimensions in the side view are breadth and height okay so i hope uh, you are very clear about uh, those particular points now i am going to start with the top view 50 by 35 so 50 mm i am taking to the left side okay so here i am using an isometric graph but in general so in examinations so you will not be given any isometric graph like this okay so you have to place your uh, drafter 30 degrees uh, whenever needed either to the left side or to the right side since uh, you are uh, new to this particular problems so i request you to practice these problems on uh, um, uh, isometric graph for at least one or two problems so here i, I also will be doing the same thing okay so for one or two problems i will be doing i will be solving the these particular questions on isometric graph and after that uh, so without the isometric graph i'll uh, show you how to solve the problems okay so now i have drawn 50 mm to the this particular uh, end and uh, now another distance what ha what i have in the top view is the 35 the 35 mm so i am going to draw it to the right side okay like this okay let this be 35 and uh, this be 50 mm okay and after that uh, what i have is so i am going to complete this entire rectangular box and uh, so what i am going to do is i am going to draw another uh, 35 mm like this and uh, another 50 mm like this so which completes my top views so what isometric view okay and now so the the difficult part of uh, this particular problem is you cannot uh, uh, draw the isometric view with only by seeing only one particular view so what i mean is since I started with the top view, that doesn't mean that uh, my entire isometric view, uh, that means the final uh, shape of the isometric view will be completely developed by using only the top view. So I have to take the help of the front view and I have to take the help of the side view also. So now, since I have completed the top view's isometric view, the outline of the top view, now I am going to the front view. So here at this particular point, what you are able to see is, you are able to see a height of 8 mm. So what I am going to do here is, so from here i am going to draw 8 mm like this okay and uh, at the other end of the 50 mm and at the other end of the 50 mm what you are able to see is you are able to see a height of 25 mm so that 25 mm so i am going to draw over here this is my 25 mm so now i am at this particular point and i have uh, another uh, uh, 15 mm so in this portion so you can see that over here okay so I have uh, 15 mm over here the same distance will be here also so this line if you observe it is parallel to the 50 mm line so here I have already drawn a 50 mm line 30 degrees inclined so uh, on the same 30 degree inclined line so what you have to do is you have to draw another 15 mm okay and after that so again I am coming back to this particular point where I have drawn 8 mm and uh, just left it like that and here you are seeing one more line one more uh, horizontal line okay so which is again parallel to the uh, length line 50 mm line so what is that particular distance that particular distance is 10 mm okay so that 10 mm also so what i should do is i should uh, be drawing like this so this is my 10 mm to the left side now what i can do is since in the front view i am able to see this inclined line like this directly what i am going to do is i am going to join this particular point with this one okay so now what i'll do is i'll again uh, come back to the top view so in the top view so again at this particular point you have another uh, uh, 10 mm so now in the front view i have taken the help of this particular line which is 10 mm similarly at the back if you observe so here also we have 10 mm and uh, uh, so here from here uh, this height uh, what you are seeing at the front uh, so this particular portion so it is there at the back also so here you can see that so this is the front portion of the 8 mm and this is the back portion of the 8 mm 
so that's why what i am going to do is i am going to draw 8 mm from here also and i am going to join uh, the join it by using a 30 mm 35 mm line okay and after that so here you can see that uh, the 10 mm is there uh, to the left side okay at the back end so what i am going to do is from here i am going to draw 10 mm like this and uh, this 10 mm line and this 10 mm line is joined by a 35 mm line again so that 35 mm line so i will be drawing like this to join these two points okay and after that uh, uh, i will go back uh, so to this particular point so from this point i have a distance of 15 mm okay so to draw that before drawing that what i will do is i will try to draw so 35 mm so from this line so i'll try to draw 35 mm from this line as well as 35 mm from this line like this and i'll try to join by join them by using a straight line so this particular box represents so this particular box which you are seeing over here okay and uh, once again coming back here so here uh, what you are seeing is 10 mm i have drawn here and now what i'll do is this inclined line which is there at the front so it is there at the back end also so what i am going to do is i am going to join this one with this one like this okay so which completes uh, my uh, entire isometric view so there are some lines uh, which you may feel uh, 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 what is what i can say is uh, um, which will make you uh, difficult to understand this particular figure so what i will be doing is I will be erasing those particular lines so for your understanding for your better understanding so this one and uh, this one this one so the lines which i am erasing so they are uh, they will be at the back end okay so which you are not able to see initially we have taken the help of that but uh, since this particular blocks which are there at the front so they will be blocking that one so that's why we'll, we we are not able to see the, those particular uh, lines which are there at the bottom and back okay so this is your final view so you can compare this isometric view so with the three views that you uh, that are given here so let me uh, use some particular uh, notations to make you understand uh, what you are able to see from the front top and side so uh, already you know that uh, uh, the one uh, so once you complete this particular figure you are supposed to draw the uh, arrow head like this but uh, initially on initially itself i have drawn that one okay so which represents this arrow head represents the uh, front view okay so now in the front view what are the things that you are able to see here is length and this particular height this one this one as well as this one and this one okay so these things are visible uh, let me put it by means of uh, some particular uh, notation over here or some particular shape let me give some tick mark okay so this tick mark uh, entire area so is the one which you are able to see in the front that one is uh, represented over here okay so that is done and uh, similarly in the top view so if you see this isometric view in the top so i am sure that you should you will be able to see this particular block which is 35 by 15 mm and you will be able to see this uh, inclined block so in the top view so this one also you'll be able to see and uh, this 10 mm by 35 mm block also you'll be able to see in the top view. okay so you, you should be seeing uh, three blocks from the top view so that three blocks there that three blocks are there here so that means the figure which you have drawn here is correct okay so first uh, 15 mm by 35 mm and after that this uh, reduced distance of the inclined block over here and uh, last one is 10 mm by 35 mm okay and in the side view coming to the side view first you are able to see 8 mm by 35 mm okay so let me give another uh, notation for this one so this is the first portion so which is represented over here and after this this inclined uh, uh, this inclined uh, uh, some shape so that is also a, that also you are able to see from the right side view okay so this entire shape also you will be able to see in the side view okay so that is uh, shown over here so by means of reduce the rectangle distance like this okay and once you complete this figure so you are supposed to give the dimensions by seeing uh, all these uh, uh, dimensions which are scattered uh, in these three figures so 
so you have to collectively take that one and uh, you have to give the dimensions like this let me show it for uh, one or two figures um, so since these lines are to be very light so what i am going to do is i am uh, going to draw a line like this and uh, i am going to join it like this so i'll uh, put the arrow heads so what is the breadth breadth you know it as 35 mm and what about length so length you know so this one has 50 mm so put the arrow head like this and uh, you can clearly write it here as 50 mm and uh, what is the height over here so the height is 8 mm so draw lines like this draw the dimension line put the arrow heads and uh, mention it as 8 mm and similarly so you have to complete the other dimensions uh, so what are the other dimensions we have so 35 we have uh, 58 mm and the height is 25 so here you can mention the height so here as 25 mm so you can put the arrow heads and uh, clearly you can mention that it is 25 mm okay and uh, here you have to show that it is 15 mm so take lines like this draw the dimension line put the arrow heads and tell that it is 15 mm and the very last thing is the 10 mm over here okay so arrow head like this and 10 mm over here okay so now what i have done is i have consolidated the dimensions which are there in this all three figures into one single figure and i have given the dimensions like this so with this so the complete solution for the problem one is done okay so these are you have to convert multiple uh, views into a single view that means uh, orthographic views multiple uh, views are nothing but the orthographic views front view top view and side view so you are trying to convert these three views into a single figure called as isometric view okay